During World War II, the German army used the earliest ballistic missiles and cruise missiles in the world. Although these two missiles, V-1, V-2, did not have a decisive impact on the war, people saw their potential value in warfare. The Soviet Union also obtained some technology from the V-1 missile during World War II, which promoted research on post-war cruise missiles in the Soviet Union. Due to the technological conditions at the time, submarines carrying cruise missiles became one of the focuses of research for various countries because this design could give the missiles stronger concealment. In the 1950s, the Soviet Union conducted a large number of submarine-launched missile tests, and the 665 project was one of the earlier technological achievements. On it, one can clearly see the shadow of technological change. The 665 project is a submarine modified based on the W-class conventional submarine. The W-class incorporates the technology of the German Vodiedas-class submarine from World War II in its design. It is a technologically mature and reliable submarine suitable for modification and testing. Initially, the 644 project installed two missile launchers on the back of the submarine, which needed to be raised in angle during combat before launching the missiles. This design was mainly due to the limitations of missile technology at the time. Vertical launch technology was not mature, and the engine power of cruise missiles was insufficient. That is why we can always see inclined missile launchers on early warships. The 665 project is more mature than the 644 project, but the shape of the submarine itself has indeed attracted a lot of criticism. It is not an exaggeration to say that it is one of the ugliest submarines in submarine history. So what kind of structure does the 665 project have? Because the W-class submarine itself is not very large, and the P-5 missile, NATO codename SSN-3C, installed in the 1665 project, is not small. The length of this missile, which entered service in 1959, is 10.2 meters for types A and B, and 11.75 meters for type C. The diameter of the missile body is 0.98 meters, the wingspan is 5 meters, and the weight is 5,000 kilograms. It is not easy to carry such a large missile. Soviet designers added four inclined launchers behind the bridge of the submarine, with two on each side of the bridge. The inclination angle of these launchers is 14 dig, and each launcher holds one missile. The launchers are covered with streamlined shells. Nevertheless, the shape of the submarine still looks very strange. The bridge is occupied by the launchers, only the front is exposed, and the front of the launchers arranged in the front and back presents a stepped shape with a considerable frontal projection and high hydrodynamic resistance. By 1963, the Soviet Union had produced a total of six 665 cruise missile submarines, which also constituted the early strategic deterrent submarine force of the Soviet Navy. However, the 1665 itself had many problems. Not to mention that the installation of the launchers increased the hydrodynamic resistance and affected the submarine's navigation performance, the missiles could not be launched underwater, and the missile's flight speed was also unsatisfactory. The terminal speed was only 1.2 Mach, and the cruising speed was about 0.9 Mach. In an era when fighter jets easily reached supersonic speeds, it was difficult to compete with a missile that was similar to a small aircraft cruising at subsonic speeds in the sky. It was very easy to be detected by radar and countered. 